And now sports with Matt Barine. It is Valley Hoops time here in Springfield and our Bear Nation report tonight marks the conference opener for the Lady Bears as they played host to Indiana State to open Missouri Valley play. Lady Bears hoping to build on a three game winning streak coming into the night and they'd look to do that through Jasmine Franklin. Here Danielle gets and gonna hit her on a cross court pass. Franklin finishes off the glass to tie the game up at two early. Then Gitson still playing matchmaker, this time finding Alexa Willard for three. Bears quickly up 11 to four. And then it's right back to Franklin, who must have had her Wheaties this morning. She gets the rebound, the bucket, and the foul. Missouri State ahead 15-4. Then Franklin switching it up with the assist this time. Flings it over to Willard for another triple. Franklin finishing with 17 points, 11 rebounds, and her first double-double is a Bear. Bryce Caleb joining in on the party here. Gets the end one through contact as the Lady Bears open up Valley play with a 71-58 win over the Sycamores. Afterwards, Jasmine talked about her performance and getting the win. Um, it feels good because, I mean, we were going out there, we prepared all week for this game, and like we were ready just to get a dub, just starting off and just get our confidence up. We knocked down our shots and got a bunch of N1s, and then me personally, I was just trying to keep high energy for when I was on and off the bench. Our plan really was just to play our game, do what we do, listen to what Kelly says and John and all of them, and then, yeah, and it just worked out like that, and so we took advantage of it. As for the men, they have their Valley home opener on Saturday against Valparaiso. Dana Ford's Bears got off to a tough conference start falling on the road at Southern Illinois Wednesday night, and that loss came with another loss as well in Simone Wojcik. He suffered a foot sprain in the game against the Salukis. It'll put him out of action for one to two weeks. That means the Bears will need other tall players like Darian Scott to step up, considering the size that Valpo brings to the table. But Dana Ford says the most important part of this game is defending home court. You know, in league play, if you lose on the road, you're kind of still on par. If you win on the road, then you're probably, you know, you made a little progress. But, but it's, it's flip-flopped at home. You win at home, you're just on par. You lose at home, now you're in the hole a little bit. So we just need to protect our home court. You know, it's a challenging game because they're, they're, they're a uh, veteran team in the sense of redshirt juniors, physical team. And, you know, anytime there's seven footers out there, I mean, that, that's going to create a problem. Now, high school hoops also in action tonight. Hillcrest playing host to Waynesville. Tigers jumped ahead quick in this one. Hunter O'Neill getting a lucky bounce here off the rim. Drops through the basket. Waynesville up 21-16. But back come the Hornets down 10. Brandon Minifee drains a three to get Hillcrest within seven. Then it's John Wright carving through. Gets the end one basket to cut it to four. But in the end, Waynesville a bit too much as they pull out a narrow road win 43-40. Now, in other Valley action, the FCS playoffs are actually still ongoing, believe it or not. Plus, North Dakota State in the championship game, though, that's probably much easier to believe. The Bison are set to take on Eastern Washington tomorrow at noon with a national title on the line. This marks the eighth straight championship game appearance for the Valley member. That is an FCS record. Seven of those belong to the Bison, but this one's special for head coach Chris Kleiman since it'll be his last before joining Kansas State as their new head coach. Always when you get to this time, and, and we've been here uh, pretty frequently, you always just cherish that time with your seniors because they're such a special group of guys, and, and each year it's been like that. So that's what I think you do as a coach in general, um, no matter what anybody's circumstance is beyond the game, is just making sure that you take the time and enjoy the time with the seniors, and that's what uh, I've tried to do over the last 10 days, and we'll continue the next five or six. So big game there, big game with the men and a mm -hmm. huge win for the ladies tonight. Always good to hear that. All right, Matt, thank you. We'll be right back with the last check of your forecast.